Friday. Happy Wednesday for you guys. We are having a crazy, a horrible day. Are we having a crazy, horrible day, Sophia? We have no internet. Yeah, so the world has crashed and we have no internet. Um, I actually feel bad even complaining that our internet is down considering what's happening in Ireland right now with the storm and then another storm coming and people losing their lives. So having no internet in comparison is nothing, but wow, it is so hard when you're not able to connect to the world, huh? You can't play as a soul. You can't play as a soul. You can't play as a soul. Yeah, so not only can we not play SSO, but we can't work on our internet schooling stuff. So we yes. have to do. <laughs> what? Yes. yes! Yeah, the girls are devastated, you guys. Yes. Like, absolutely horrified. They can't play SSO. They can't do their school online. Yes. Doesn't she look devastated? Don't you look devastated? Um, so uh, we looked and said there's a big outage in our area. And so Sam went to work today and he called them. And apparently, it's not at our area so we have to we have to Sam has to come home after work is to check the modem and he has somebody coming to see what the problem is so they're coming in the morning so they'll be here in the morning to fix it soon after that we should have internet so tomorrow's vlog will be a little bit late but there will be a vlog just like today mm -hmm. so he's got her math on the go no not school no not doing school mm -hmm. luckily we have books huh yeah. And did you guys know in Canada we study French instead of Spanish like the States? I'd like to know. Uh, I know that in the States they study Spanish and we study French. What do you guys study in all the rest of the parts of the world? What other second language do you guys study? All right, weird thing has happened, you guys. The doorbell rang and I'm expecting a delivery because it's somebody's birthday on Friday. And three days. And three days. Anyway, I opened the door and there's a guy there and he was holding bees. Flowers. Ooh, can I hold them? And he said, Hi, are you Laura? And I said, Yeah. And he said, Black cat right there! Crossing the road! Wow, there's a black cat! Black and white! Ruby. And he said, These are for you. And then he gave them to me, and I said, And he would laugh really fast. And I was like, Is there a card? And there's yeah, no there's card. Like, there's no card, you guys. And I honestly cannot think of who they'd be from. A brother? I gotta phone dad. That's weird that there's no card. Well, it looks like there's a card right here. Yeah. But they ripped it off. Is that weird? No, I I'm feel kind of creepy. We're haunted! <laughs> it's not haunted. Come on. We're haunted by the street. Maybe tomorrow we'll get more flowers. <gasps> yeah. Okay. Just like in Let's phone dad. Let's phone dad. Hi. Hi. Did you send me anything? For what? For, I don't know, just because I'm wonderful? <clears throat> this is not a trick question. Did you send me anything? A trick question, isn't it? Did you send me something? What came in the mail? A, a delivery. Oh, yeah, it's a special. Don't open that. No, not Sophia. Not for Sophia. Did you send me something? I got flowers today. You got flowers today? I did. And there's no card. And it wasn't like a floral, it wasn't like a floral truck or anything. It, it just was a man in a car. And I opened the door and he said, hi, are you Laura? And I said, yes. And he said, these are for you. And then ran away. Oh my gosh. What? Now. You think that's what Oh, it is? I think he likes you. you I did not get the license plate. It was so fast. Oh my gosh. Like I can't think who else it would be. That's weird. Oh, There's no one of card. your son. Like the that Listen. address got ripped off. Yeah, like there was something on the front and it got taken off. Yeah. How am I gonna figure out who sent mom, them to me? Someone has a crush on mom. Yeah. <laughs> Gary. Next Maybe time when he, that guy brings her something else, it'll probably be a horse. Yeah, like if I have a stalker he could be, and he sent me flowers, I want a horse. Just don't bring we me flowers. I mean, no, I'll, we want 
like chocolate and a horse. Yeah, I was just gonna say. We want like, money and a horse. Chocolate would money be awesome. Money and a horse. For yeah, me. let's just put it. We're just stuff. putting it out there. We maybe want, he's a subscriber. Maybe, and if you are a subscriber, I just want to say thank you for the flowers. But we want a horse. Just bring us a horse. <laughs> just tie it to the front door. Walk away. I'll find it, and I'll know what to do after I'll that. I'll find it, and yeah. it'll be mine. But those are pretty. This is a mystery, but we will figure it out. I know, I made turkey soup. Leftover turkey soup. My kids won't eat it if I put vegetables in there, so I don't put vegetables in there. Homemade turkey soup. And then I put rice in mine because, oops, because I really like rice in it. But I do this thing where I put the rice in after I take it off the stove. And I just leave it sit there, and then it just cooks in the, in the in the bowl, and I love that. Gabby and I are addicted to soup. Sophie, on the other hand, prefers. What do you prefer, Sophie? Uh, sugar. <laughs> so we just had another delivery, and I opened the door. The guy left it and opened the door, and I opened the door, and all we could see was this. And Sophie saw it, and obviously it's for her birthday, so now I have to go upstairs. Obviously she's gonna know what it is, but what bothers me is look at the box. It's all wrecked. Like usually when you order stuff from Amazon, it comes in a brown package. It's been a weird day. It's like somebody opened it before it got to our house. Can we check it just no, to make no, no. sure? Clearly I'm like super paranoid. Yeah, but look, look at the box. Yeah, we have to check it. We got letters in the mail last week from we got this from Robin and a cute little bracelet. A cute little bracelet. We got this from Haley in New Zealand. She sent us these pictures. This one is a buddy and I love his blue saddle pad and I love the stirrups. <coughs> and this one's from Missy. I mean, this horse is Missy. This is her in Sky. This is also Missy. Smiling, smiling. And this is Pepsi. <clears throat> this is Cosmo. Missy. Put that in the pile. Pepsi. We got this big letter from Molly. Thanks, Molly. We got this letter from Elizabeth Summercloud in England. Elizabeth Summercloud is her SSO name. Do you guys recognize her from the comments? We are gonna write up some of our postcards and send them out this week. Thank you so much for sending us mail, you guys. We love it. Definitely keep sending us letters. If you feel like sending us a letter, if you're not allowed to send us a letter, that's that's totally okay. But we love getting your mail. We've read through all of these letters. Getting to know you guys has been amazing. Oh guys, there was one of these for, for me, my mom, Gabby, and my dad. Yeah, who's that from, Molly? She wrote us all a personalized message, huh? Hey. Somebody brought my wife flowers today. I just want you to know that I prefer chocolate. <laughs> 5 a.m. and we are in trouble. But we don't really care. Tell ourselves there's always tomorrow. Anyway, they read an article today that said don't hug your dog because it causes them stress and they see it and they do the same thing and then the dog doesn't realize that they're in charge and then they bite them. Well that's but clearly not that's, the issue here. That's a load of malarkey because our dog Look at her. She loves being hugged. She loves everybody. All right, you guys, so I just wanted to clarify something. So the reason that, that I've been showing you guys horses is because I really value your opinion. In the end, it's gonna be us and our trainer that decides what horse we get, mostly our trainer. And a lot of you guys tell us stuff that we don't even think of, and I appreciate the help. Horse crack. <laughs> Yeah, so do you guys like when we show you the horses that we want to look at that we're thinking about? Or do you think we should just wait until we find the exact horse, we know we're going to buy it, and then share it? Let us know in the comments below if you guys like shopping. This is like a shopping thing. Anyway, until I find out your answer, I want to show you these two horses that we're looking at. Yeah, there's two. Okay, so this is a paint. So I'm going to tell you about her. She a looks mare? really skinny to me. Yeah, it's a mare, but mm -hmm. I think she looks thin. Sam thinks she, she looks, looks too old. Skinny. She does look. She looks a little thin, but thin you can probably work with, and as long as it's not covering up an underlying problem. But anyway, she is a registered paint mare, and she's only seven, which is okay. I mean, it's not our ideal age group. 
So she's seven years old. She's very loving and is up for sale due to no fault of her own. I'm just focusing on my time with my barrel horse and I don't think it's fair to leave her out in a pasture. She's a sweetheart and really only desires attention and love. Good for the farrier, trailers, ties and baths. She's the first horse to greet you at the gate. She requires zero maintenance and can stay outside all year round. She would be a perfect trail horse, western pleasure horse or English horse. Her headset is to die for and I really wish she'd teach my gelding. She rides in a hackamore and I'm more than willing to send her off with it. She responds beautifully in it. If you're not willing to ride her in it, please don't message me. She has 60 days of professional training. I prefer it if she was kept in the hackamore. Please no tire kickers. PM me for price and detail. So I did PM her for information and she said, yeah, you can buy her. I always feel nervous when I tell her, okay, we're um, <coughs> beginner riders and we have a trainer and you know, we don't really know what we're doing. And when they say, yeah, you can have her, I kind of feel like, okay, there's some kind, something wrong there. But anyways, she said that um, <coughs> the person, her original owner is, in, is thinking about buying her back. So she's not sure if she's in negotiation with her original buyer. So she's not sure if she's still available, but she's going to keep me <coughs> updated. So even though she's a little young for us, she's a contender. Do you guys think she's a contender? What do you think? She's good. She's I good. I like the other horse better. Yeah, she'd be good for Sophie and me. She's 15.3 <coughs> hands high, yeah, which is another thing you. that was good. What? Yeah, she's good for you. Except for, yeah. So, I mean, I'm just saying she's good, meaning she'd be good for us to go and look at to see if, if she's good. Okay, so horse number two. And this guy would be for Gabby if it actually worked <coughs> out, which, I mean, it never works out. So, who knows? Mm -hmm. This guy is Storm, and he's 15 years old, which I think is way better for us. 15.3 hands, which is good for us. He is a unregistered Hanoverian <coughs> thoroughbred gelding. Gelding is good. Um, he was shown to first level dressage and has and was 2011 first level champion of dressage Niagara as well as 2009 training level champion. He is a straightforward ride and loves to work, has been over small fences and under saddle and seems to enjoy it. He has the best brain you will find in a horse. Safe, <coughs> safe, safe, safe. safe. Uh, loves attention, not spooky, will stand all day in a farrier, vet, cuddling, grooming, etc. Gets along in a mixed herd, lives in or out, easy keep, does have French shoes, no vices, soundness or health issues, up to date on farrier, vaccines and wormings, clips, bays, trailers, etc. Not enough good things to be said about this horse. So the bad thing about this horse, he's at the very top of our price point, but it would be totally worth it if he turns out. So this is him. So what do you guys think of him? So clearly he's a dressage horse and we're not dressage riders, so that's an issue. But we can take him off dressage. You can start learning him to show low, like cross rails, like well, he does hunter do some jumper. Jumping. He does do some jumping, but anyway. <coughs> yeah, we can I make him do a hunter jumper. Yeah. The jumps are low, but I should also tell fun. you guys that, yes, it's true, we don't know how to train horses, but our, <laughs> if our horses need any kind of training, our trainer can can work with them. Our trainer told me last night that she's willing to uh, to work with our horses, so don't worry about that part so much, right? <laughs> All right, so those are the horses of the day. I'm going to uh, message this guy with this horse here, the dressage horse, now and see what he has to say. Um, but yeah, so hopefully by the end of this week, we'll be able to see some horses. Do you wanna go and ride some horses and try them out? Yeah, me too. Yeah! Whee! We'll be testing out, I think, the other one, too. Imagine if I you got a horse by your birthday party. Ooh, yeah. Wow. But it was for me. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine it was Sophie's birthday party, and we're at the riding arena, and then we bring out a horse, and Sophie's like, oh, and we say, it's for Gabby. Wouldn't that be terrible? It'd be mine. Yeah, if we get one horse. If we get this horse called Storm, at Sophia's birthday party, then it'd be mine. And we'd all have to share until we get another. <coughs> no, it'd be we'd all time. it'd be mine, but um we all share it. Ugh. We're all trying to sit on this bed in Gabby's sunroom. We got dogs. Oh, let's just people. pull out another bed. Come on, Sophie, can you get up here? Yeah. <coughs> oh. I don't know if my bed can take this. And I, I always have a butt pillow. in the face. There's always a, somebody's butt in my face. Macy, get your butt out of my face. <laughs> you Macy. gladly do that. 
Get your butt out of my face. She's over here, Phil. Move on, go down. See, Macy has this thing about putting her butt in my face. No matter where I lay, her butt is always in my face. Macy. Cookie. So we get in here. Oh, no. Mom, you have to scooch over more that okay. way. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> We're going to break this Nikki, bed. Come on, get in here. Just climb on top of Ruby. Climb on top of her like I did. <laughs> We're just one big happy family, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> she does. Okay, this is okay, guys. We just Sophie cleared see her. Listen, we just cleared a big spot for Sophie right beside Gabby, and then Ruby was like, "I'll sleep there," and she climbed in. All right, Sophie, come on over and stand beside me over no, here. All right, you guys, we are gonna do. Ah. <laughs> oh, my knee, my knee, my knee. We can't my fit on the single cut. bed. Okay. Wait. Comment of the day goes to. Ian, E O I N twenty one. I don't know how to say her name. E O I N twenty one. Anyway, she said, "I live in Ireland, and there was a storm yesterday. We all know that. Um, and my two ponies got spooked by the wind, and they were galloping and kicking. Macy, you're in the middle of the screen. They were galloping and kicking and <clears throat> rearing, which, which is unlike them for half an hour until they had calmed down, and we had to stable them yesterday and last night." Please. What? I'm just cuddling. P.S. Love you guys and your vids. But yeah, so uh, yesterday <clears throat> that storm in Ireland was super scary. Three people lost their lives. Lucky it was not more, but so sad. Three people. Get your butt out of my <clears throat> face. <clears throat> she but yeah, three people died, Sophie. Face. Can you even imagine? In the whole the storm wide. Um, in whole Ireland. Wide. In the whole wide Ireland? Do you only love her? I'm cuddling her. We're still praying for everybody in Ireland. I know there's a lot of damage. I know a lot of kids were scared. A lot of people were scared. Three people losing their life to a storm is terrible. I pray for their family. Was that family. a tornado? Yeah, I pray for their family and their friends. Okay guys, this is it for today. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, give us a Give it a thumbs up and come back tomorrow. Bye. Make sure you come back tomorrow because somebody in tomorrow's video, somebody was flying, flying through the air. Somebody flew through the air in tomorrow's video. So make sure you come back so you can see that. We'll see you guys later. And three days, it's my birthday <laughs> on Friday. It's Friday. Bye. <laughs>